Hello, this video is about how to connect a remote desktop from Windows 7 to Linux Mint 17.1 Rebecca Cinnamon. This will also work with Windows 8 computer, but the video doesn't show that. So the high level overview is this. This video uses the XRDP server on the Linux computer. Using XRDP server to remote desktop from Windows to Linux requires that the Linux computer have a 2D desktop. Both Ubuntu and Linux Mint by default use a 3D desktop. Unity for Ubuntu and Cinnamon for Linux Mint. In order for the XRDP server to work, it is necessary to install a 2D desktop on top of the Cinnamon desktop. And this video will demonstrate the install of an XFCE desktop on top of Linux Mint 17.1 Rebecca Cinnamon. So the outcome would be to set desktop preferences to allow sharing install an XFCE desktop and configure Mint to share desktops, install XRDP and tight VNC server, connect with Win7 remote desktop protocol to Linux Mint 17.1 to verify that it works, and then configure XRDP to have user return to a previous session. That means that if you've been doing some work in a previous RDP connection, you can return to that same connection after you've configured XRDP to allow for that and then finally verify that that works. Requirements an internet connection Windows 7 and Linux Mint 17.1 desktop running on the same LAN or local area connection that means the first three numbers of the IP address should be the same 192.168.1 they do not have to be the 192 number but the first three have to be in the same local area connection first three numbers have to be the same Windows 7 8 with remote desktop protocol installed some home editions may not have it installed and administrative privileges on the Linux Mint 17.1 cinnamon desktop additional info here I've got some additional web pages that help me make this video or there's some that actually have some additional information beyond what this video covers. Disclaimer, while this video demonstrates an actual install of XRDP and Linux Mint 17.1 Rebecca Cinnamon virtual machine, I can't verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. So if you wish, you can stop the video and read that disclaimer. In this section of the video, I'm going to install an alternate 2D desktop so that RDP can pull up a window, actually an X window. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Menu, Preferences, Desktop Sharing, and allow other users to view your desktop, and allow other users to control your desktop. Make sure both these are checked. Using XRDP with Linux basically means that when you log on to a Linux computer, whoever else is logged on is still on there. It's not like with Windows RDP. If you Windows RDP onto another computer, then the original user is logged off or the desktop user is logged off. So once I have desktop sharing set up, I'm going to go to terminal and I'm going to install the XFCE desktop, which is a lightweight desktop. In order to do that, I'm on sudo apt get updates. And basically what this does is make sure that I have the latest updates sorry basically what this does make sure I have the latest updates it should be sudo app get update a little difference in uh, what I was saying and what I was typing so once Linux Mint has gone out and gotten all the updates sudo apt get install mint meta xfce and this is probably the easiest way to get it. You can also get it from the software manager, but I found this is a little bit easier and ask if you want to continue and just type in a Y and I'll come back when this is fully installed. Okay, once it's installed, I'm just going to do a reboot just simply to sudo reboot show you how to set the default desktop to cinnamon or whichever desktop you want. Once the login menu comes up, let me go to the Lambda section and you'll see it's got XFCE session and I'm going to select Cin Cinnamon CI right here as my desktop and then 
type in my password, click OK, and you wish to make Cinnamon the default for future sessions, and I'm going to say make it the default. So here's my Cinnamon desktop, and I'm going to pull up a terminal here, and I'm going to install all the software I need to run RDP from Windows. Now you notice by installing MetaMint XFCE I've got a different color on the terminal but that just set in some defaults. Everything should still work. So what I'm going to do is sudo apt get install XRDP password. Make sure you type it in correctly. One other uh, piece of software I'm going to need is a VNC server. The one I found that seemed to work easiest for me is Tight VNC Server. So sudo apt get install Tight VNC Server. So once that's done, what I have to do is I have to set up a file in each user directory so that when an RDP connection is made, that it pulls up an X session or an X window session. So what I do here is I'm going to just say echo, and the exact word here is XFCE4 session, and I'm going to direct it to a file that should be empty that you're just creating right now dot x session and it should be there if I want to check it out you can check it out with any text editor you can check it out with cat tail but I'm going to check it out with the vim text editor because that's the one I have and the reason I'm checking it out with a text editor is if I need to make a change then I can change it right here and then I'm going to say and when you're doing this like I say it should be done from your home directory there it is, exactly as it should be. So now with Vim, I just hit colon and Q. The next thing I need to do is make sure my uh, XRDP server is started. sudo service XRDP start. And so now the desktop protocol server is installed and start. In this section of video, I've got a cute Windows computer on the left, a Windows 7, though this will also work with Windows 8, and my Linux Mint 17 Rebecca on the right. Now before I make a RDP connection from the Windows computer, I need to have the IP address of the Linux machine, and I do an IP-A, and I notice right here that it's 192.168.1.30. Now for this to work, these three numbers right here have to be the same on both machines. I'm not covering how to cross the internet or across different local area networks, but both of them have to be on the same local area network. It gets a little more complicated if they're not. I have this number, 130, and I go over here, remote desktop connection, and I simply put in 192.168.1.30, do a connect, yes. The module I'm going to be used is Assessment XVNC. There are some other ones and it depends if you've got something else in type VNC server, some of these others may work better. Put in a username and a password and click OK. And you'll notice the connection's OK. I'm doesn't matter whether you click down there. It says, welcome to the first start of the panel. And I'm just going to pick use default config. And I'm going to close this. And basically this is XSCE desktop on the Windows computers. And you can go ahead and play around with this. But I'm going to show you one thing here. Office. I'm going to go to LibreOffice. I'm going to create a writer document. Basically, I'm going to call this go back to same session. And if I 
close my X window here, or I close my RDP connection. Go up here and close it. Click OK. And remember, I've left the LibreOffice document open. And then I make a remote desktop connection. And again, do the 30 connect. Yes. Click OK. You notice that the document's not open. So you know that you can do a remote desktop connection this way using XFCE, XRDP, and Tight VNC server. But in the next section, I'm going to show you how to go back to the same session. Here I've got a Windows 7 virtual machine and a Linux Mint virtual machine running, the Rebecca. What I'm going to have to do now is so I can get back on the same session, I have to edit a file, xrdp.ini, and I'm going to use a Vim text editor. You can use any kind of text editor you wish. In my case, it's sudo vim, and this file's located etc xrdp xrdp.ini is the name of the file. Of course, you have to put in your password. And file is open. Go down here in this first section, xrdp1. And where it says port, I need to put in ask. So because I'm using a Vim text editor, I type in i for insert, ask for ask, skate, right quit, and that's it. Now before I make the connection, IPA, hit enter, and I have the same IP address, 192.168.1.30. So now I need to switch back to my Windows machine, click on the start button, up to remote desktop, and make sure I have 192.168.1.30 and make the connection. Click yes. Now if you notice one thing here, I now I have a port and it says minus one. We're just going to leave that for this first connection. Username, password, click OK. Now one thing that you have to watch real quickly up here in the top left is the port number that flashes by. I'm going to click OK. And right here it's 5910. Close my welcome screen. Go to Applications menu. And I'm going to go to Office. LibreOffice. And I'm going to make a writer document. I'm going to do the same RDP. Yeah, let's spell same right. Same RDP session connection. I just put anything in there. It doesn't matter. So now I'm going to go ahead and close this. Well, not I'm going to leave the LibreOffice open, but I'm going to close the, R, the Windows RDP connection on the Windows machine. Close it. And it says disconnect your remote desktop services section. Click OK. Now let's go and open that back up again. Remote desktop. 30. Connect. Yes. And again, you got mic. Password. And this time for the port number, I'm going to put in 5910. 5910, click OK. And here we go. We're at the same session. And that's how you get the same session connection is uh, use the port number after editing the uh, xrdp.ini file. Now one other thing I'd like to point out, if you have a problem making the connection, one place to look for an answer might be in a log file. Take a look at the log file. I would use a tail command var log xrdp sysman dot log. Hit enter. Of course I know you have to use sudo for look in there. Must not be my day. And so 
this will give you some error messages and uh, maybe give you a uh, hint for trying to find a solution. That's it for making a remote desktop protocol connection from a Windows machine 7 or 8 to Linux Mint Rebecca Cinnamon. Thank you.